Hey you guys, it's the girl Ice Huge and back at you with another tutorial. In today's video, I'll be teaching you guys not only how to obtain the bandit mantle, I'll also show you the method that you guys can use in order to earn over 10,000 zenny per expedition or quest, whatever you want to make out of it. But I would definitely recommend expeditions as you don't have a timer and the monsters just keep respawning. So step one, you're gonna have to reach hunter rank level nine. You're gonna have to do a couple of the main quest missions from the assignments tab as well as a few optional quests from the optional tab. Once you have done so, you'll have access to the level five optional quest, redefining the power couple. In order to get this quest, you're gonna have to go to the workshop and talk to the armor lady that is across from the smithy. She'll have a quest marker above her head whenever you hit Hunter rank level 9. The Bandit Mantle is an item into which you can make monsters drop trade-in items, which are basically useless items. You can only sell them for high values of cash. So they have a couple of different layers, meaning that there are five types of items that you can actually obtain in order to do a decent amount of cash from each expedition. Starting off with the lowest one, you can get the chip scale for 500 zenny, the large scale for 1000 zenny, beautiful scale for 2000 zenny, lustrous scales for 3000 zenny, and the glimmering scale for 5000 zenny. Now those are the ranks slash rarities of those items. They're very, depending upon, you know, how long you stay at it. You know, your efforts with your RNG will teach you guys how much, you know, Zenny you can actually obtain per expedition. So, for today's video, I'll be using the Great Jagras as my personal punching bag. Now, while the video clip rolls out, I'm going to describe the mission for you guys so that you guys know ahead of time what you're looking forward to doing. So, first things first, once you obtain the Redefining the Power Couple quest, you're going to have to hunt down Rathlos and Raffian within the Ancient Force and kill them within a 50 minute time limit as well as a 3 life limit. Meaning if you faint 3 times your quest is over. So make sure that you have the proper gear set up. You can use traps. You can trap them. Meaning capture obviously. Um, as well as slay them. Regardless of anything it is up to you. It does not matter either way. But I definitely recommend capturing them instead of slaying them as you get more rewards with the capture instead of slaying. So make sure that you guys do that whenever the death skull icon pops up in the bottom left hand corner of your screen on the map section. Um, that's just a little tidbit of information. But uh, don't worry about if you're gunning for the Jagras and this kind of thing happens where a turf war breaks out with a bigger monster than the Jagras itself. It's a great punching bag and it can take a massive amount of damage just like all of the large monsters themselves in general. Now keep in mind that whenever you go into the Jagras den it's going to be packed with Jagras just due to the fact that A there's a crap ton of Jagras there sleeping anyways and B well the great Jagras doesn't make that much room for combat but uh, yeah that's basically it that's all you guys really need to know in order to complete this um, there's only a few more things that I can say to help you guys out as much as I can um, so first things first, uh, A, do not do this method on any of the smaller monsters as they cannot actually handle the amount of damage that you guys are going to be outputting. Uh, they'll die way too quickly and you won't get as much loot from them as you would from a larger monster. Um, you guys can go ahead and either A, capture, B, kill... Um, or even let them escape from you by disappearing from the map in your expedition. It really doesn't matter because as soon as that monster is dead or disappeared from your sight or vision or whatever, I don't know how to describe it because it just says you've lost track of a monster. So basically, if the monster disappears out of the map, it'll be replaced eventually with another monster. So have no fear. You can definitely stay within that expedition for as long as you want. Meaning you can earn more zenny that way by just using the bandit mantle and just smacking the shit out of every monster that comes in there. Um, so, how you will know if the monster drops an item. So, 
you see how the bandit mantle is actually glowing bright neon green currently whenever it glows that bright gold that you just saw right there a rock will drop from the monster and that will be the rare material uh, it doesn't really matter what weapon you use I preferentially use the insect glaive because I'm more of an insect glaive fanatic <laughs> it's kind of one of my favorite weapons in monster hunter world but you can use the dual wielding daggers, you can use the lance, you can use the buster blade, it does not matter what weapon you use, just so long as you put out a massive amount of damage. Definitely, the one that will definitely make it 100% worth your time and effort is definitely going to be the dual wielding daggers, as they have a way of putting out massive amounts of damage and flurry attacks in a series. Um, it does somewhat have an effect if you mount the beast. It doesn't really matter if you choose to mount it or not. It's still going to be the same. I'd prefer you not to mount it because that's just wasting time in order to, you know, slay the beast or s put more damage into it because it takes one damage a second per, you know, mounting phase as you attack it. So really, it's up to you. I chose to slay this Jagras so I could get even more Jagras material to build weapons or trade in for sell. It's really up to you what you do with the monster materials if you happen to slay it. Um, meaning it doesn't really matter any other way, however which way you want to go about it. Um, but yeah, like I said, the Bandit Mantle lasts for 180 seconds. Its recharge rate is every 280 seconds. It's ready for use. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much it. And as you guys can see, I've got a bunch of large scales and a couple of those uh, chip scales. But uh, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys found this at all useful or helpful, please be sure to drop a like on the video, as well as a comment what your favorite parters or what I need to explain a little better and hopefully I'll pin it in the comment below. Uh, do give me credit this is my first time actually doing any Monster Hunter World series kind of you know tutorials. There will be more in the future to help you guys out who are, may come into this game a little late but uh, I've been around since the very beginning of Monster Hunter and I've absolutely loved the series. The only one that I did not play was the PSP's edition of Monster Hunter Generations. Uh, other than that, I, I basically played all of them. Um, but anyways, this has been your girl Ice Fusion, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.